Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about version 1.4. I made some new additions to the special folder, a new color ID mask function, a new set of color ID mask materials, plus some additional Atlas blend materials. So let's uh, first look at the um, uh, ID uh, color ID mask um, function. Here I have a um, ID mask texture comprised of 16 squares, each with its own color. So let's see how this works. If I Open this up. You can see that um, here are the uh, color selections. And if I come and select the color, you can see that I can mask out any of the quadrants based on that color selection. Uh, in addition, you will find that you have the uh, a max and min tolerance uh, parameter to tweak uh, that selection if needed. And also, um, one uh, last thing is that I use the hexadecimal value from uh, the third party application that I made this uh, texture um, um, ID mask in, uh, which gave me um, uh, an easier and better way to um, have the same uh, value in uh, Unreal. So with that, I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you the five uh, material uh, in this uh, set, this new set and uh, they comprise of a seven color selection ID mask combined with the 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16 quadrant atlas functions. And if I open one up here, you can see that I have the seven color um, ID mask uh, selection. And here you can select which uh, quadrant you wanna use based on the um, material you're using. As you can see here, I'm using the four uh, quadrant atlas. Uh, same applies uh, for the seven, uh, the 10 and 13 and 16. Here again, it's seven material uh, color ID selection. And uh, here you can select uh, which quadrant you want to use. Uh, in addition, in this uh, set, I've used a new um, uh, random function, uh, a cheaper organic function uh, than the uh, one used in the Xtile Master. Uh, if that does not suit you, you can uh, easily switch that out in the material itself. Uh, in addition, I've also created a, a folder which uses uh, an RGBA um, a material mask. Um, uh, it has the same parameters as the ones using the extile functions, but this basically is a little cheaper, but is limited to the four um, uh, components of the uh, texture uh, mask itself. And lastly, I have uh, created a um, um, two new Atlas blend materials. So they are located in the Atlas, uh, in the special Atlas materials um, folder. Here there is a, a blend uh, subfolder and they're here. And basically this allows you to blend between two um, texture atlases in the same material based either on a alpha or a procedural mask. Uh, the one on the right uh, uses a a basic lerp, the one on the left uses a height lerp, and uh, uses a uh, geometric random function uh, for the first atlas. Um, they are both uh, using uh, um, uh, random functions, uh, organic random functions for the other atlases, and uh, these are optional uh, uh, to use. Uh, so with that, I want to show you now how I applied uh, these new materials to uh, an actual asset. So let's go and have a look. So here is the scene we uh, textured last time using this uh, seven quadrant texture atlas, including the floor. This particular asset was textured using a atlas blend material, which is now available in the newest version of X-Tile. If I select the leg, you will also see that it is comprised of different texture sets, uh, again, based off this seven quadrant texture atlas. However, if I come here and select the leg again, you will see that it is comprised of a singular material because it is now based off uh, the uh, new color ID mask uh, material. Uh, and it uses the ID mask to uh, select which parts of the meshes 
uh, or which parts of the uh, texture atlas uh, get assigned uh, to the asset. Um, well, that's it basically. Um, I hope that uh, you find these new materials uh, useful. Uh, don't forget, if you have any requests or questions, drop me a line. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck with your projects.